Good afternoon, my name is Brady Bankson. And I'm Ethan Aarons, and we welcome you to Back in Time, the news segment where we take you back in time to tell you news that happened a while ago to freshen you up on your history. This week we take a look at and we take a look into the Renaissance, the Scientific Revolution, and the Protestant Revolution or Reformation. Let's get into it. First, the Renaissance was a 300-year period from the year 1300 to 1600, which was an intellectual rebirth that mainly in Italy, where we saw spikes and increases in learning, science, religion, and especially art. Some notable artworks from the Renaissance are Michelangelo's David, the creation of Adam, and the Sistine Chapel. Leonardo da Vinci had some artworks like the Mona Lisa, the Vitruvian, and the Last Supper. Most art during the Renaissance was influenced by Catholicism and Christianity, and the art also helped spread the religions. Now, for the scientific revolution, Galileo was the main face of the, this time period because it was mostly him t making the discoveries such as upgrading the telescope so that it could see into space and using it to find new things outside of our world such as Saturn's rings, the mountains on the moon, the spots on the moon, and Venus's four moons, and he was the first person to record his findings with the telescope. So what you mean he was the first person to record his findings with a telescope that he invented? Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, he also discovered that heavier people and objects fall faster than lighter ones. And he came up with the new law of inertia, which is possibly, which possibly helped with Isaac Newton pr propose his laws of motion. And now we go to Trevor Volant Volantine with his and he is in the Protestant Revolution to talk to Martin Luther about his brand new religion. And yeah, he's in a new, he's in a different time period. Don't question it. Thank you, Ethan. And now I'm in the year 1519, where I'm talking to Martin Luther, which he is currently uh, mailing a piece of paper to a door. Uh, it's me. not just any piece of paper. It's the 95 Thesis. And what is the 95 Thesis? Uh, one second. I actually need to get ready to go to another house to milk another piece of paper. But the 95 Thesis is basically a proposition that I wrote hoping that the... I'm sorry about that. Hoping that the Catholics will convert to Protestantism. Because the Catholic Church is so corrupt and they only use religion for money. Do you know what in indulgences are? I don't think I do. They are basically the church's way of making you pay. And right now our population is not suitable to pay for the church. So I wrote this thesis hoping that I can make my own religion and um, so we don't have to pay to pray. Get it? Uh, yeah. So it's like a poor man's Catholicism? No, it's more like being more part of a more pure, um, more of a pure religion. Right, right. right. Yeah. I see that there's a lot of text on the paper you got here. It must have been pretty, well, a pain in the butt, you know, to get all that without using a printer, right? I, I mean, uh, the printing press has been out for like 75 yeah, years. Yeah, so. the printing press. Yeah, my, my bad. Oops, I'm misusing words, kind of. <laughs> okay, so um, anyways, who has uh, seen this? A uh, few princes have saw it, and they converted. Uh, Pope Leo saw it. Oh, what did he think of it? Um, he wanted me to go to Rome and tell everyone that I didn't mean it, and that I was delusional when I wrote the thesis. Uh, did you do it? No, and when the 120-day deadline was over, uh, he excommunicated me. And now I'm just kind of stuck here. But, hey, at least I can spread this religion. Okay, well, I'll leave you. Thanks for the input, but I'll leave you to your sad religion spreading whatever you're doing. What? I'm, no, um, I'm not Back sad. to you got two in the studio. Thank you very much. Thanks, Trevor. And that concludes this episode of Back in Time. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.